And it's the same with male feminists as well. I mean, male feminists, they're doing what they can to compete in the masculine hierarchy. Have you ever heard of the term sneaky fucker syndrome? Yeah, that's basically what male feminists are. They're sneaky fuckers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So just for those of you who are listening, it's a zoological, it's zoological, it's a zoology term whereby uh, there's a certain few animals where the alpha males will obviously dominate the the herd or the haram or whatever. And then the beta males will come in and they'll disguise themselves as women so that they can get past the alpha males and then go and try and breed with the ladies. So I think we see that. And I think Gad Sad talks about this. Have you have you read much of Gad Sad's work? Um, Parasitic Mind or Parasite Mind, I think mind. was the last one that I, you know, listened to. But I mean, if you watch any any kind of nature show, you know, I was watching one the other day on Netflix called Predators. Um, and you see that behavior, you know, with the um with certain uh prides of lions too, right? Mm-hmm. Um happens in the primate, you know, communities as well. So I mean, it's no surprise that you get these male feminists that are essentially your sneaky fuckers of the animal kingdom. Yeah, yeah, it's a thing. And um, another thing when it comes to mass, I mean, you're how old are you now, Rich, if you don't mind me asking? I was born in the 70s. I never give my exact age up because there's too many weirdos out there. Yeah, no, fair enough. So, I mean, you are in good shape. You've just had a boxing fight. You're still cruising around. You're still mentally switched on. Uh, And I think a lot of this has to do with what you do with your endocrine system. And I find it really interesting. And when I'm a little bit older, I think I'll definitely, definitely be doing this when my testosterone levels start to drop as well. So um, for anybody who's listening out there who might feel like their energy is dropping or their testosterone is dropping and they want to address it and address the endocrine system, what would be your Mm -hmm. advice? So th- there's a chapter in my book on this, and in th- the updated second edition is going to have even more information, which will be out soon. But essentially, my recommendation is to track your blood labs on an annual basis from about the age of 25 up. I mean, 30 should be the latest, I I think anyway, because it's usually by the age of 30 that testosterone levels start to drop in men. And it's gradual. It's not immediate. Like when women hit menopause, they hit this wall their hormone panel changes completely. They stop dropping eggs. They basically age very rapidly, you know, from that point onward. Uh, collagen in their skin, you know, diminishes drastically. So um, for men, it's not as obvious as that, right? It's, you know, it's a slow progressive drop in your testosterone levels, like 1% to 3% per year. So if you're tracking it, then you should have some awareness after four or five years of tracking this that, okay, well, it looks like my testosterone levels are dropping. Um, you can try to optimize it naturally. There's lots of advice that I have in my videos and even in my book that I talk about there. If that doesn't work, then you can optimize it with testosterone therapy. There's doctors that prescribe um, testosterone. Um, you can inject that there's pellet formats, there's lozenges. There's all kinds of ways that you can administer it. Um, it's very safe. It's very effective. It's efficient. Um, Andrew Huberman, who's a, a podcaster, he's a He's basically a scientist that, you know, talks a lot about uh, things like sleep and eyesight and all kinds of different things. Uh, um, And he's done many podcasts on testosterone. And I think he said it best when he said that testosterone makes effort feel good. So if you've got healthy levels of optimized testosterone in your body, effort feels good. Doing things feel good. Competing feels good. Um, It feels very natural. And, you know, when you get your levels optimized, your life is just better. You know, you perform better, you sleep better, you bang better, you're stronger, you're more competent, you're more aggressive. Um, I found anyway, you know, with me that that when I got my levels optimized, and I got them to levels that that really work for me, it actually calmed me and it focused me more. Um, You know, there's a lot of a lot of misinformation out there. Like they say, oh, testosterone will make you make your balls uh, shrink, you'll go blind, you'll go bald, you'll blah, 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 and all these things. And it's like, look, man, or you got prostate cancer or you'll have heart attacks or whatever. And I've looked into all of those things and they're not true. Uh, Testosterone improves heart health. It doesn't do anything to affect prostate cancer. If you're going bald, it's genetic. It's got nothing to do with testosterone levels. There's loads of bodybuilders out there that have levels a hundred times higher than me that have a better head of hair because it's genetic, right? And so it's like, you know, there's a lot of misinformation out there. And there's also a lot of pointing and sputtering from uh, you know, woke culture, basically telling men to be softer, because if you have high yep. testosterone, you're toxically masculine, right? So 
you get these dorks and these nerds that of course are like, oh, you're just a steroid head or, or juice head or something like that. It's like, say whatever you want, man, but I wouldn't trade my life for yours. So have fun being poor, dumb and a loser, not having no involved women in your life, you know, sort of thing. So it's like, you know, you, you always have to consider the source when you get the criticism because hate only ever comes from beneath you. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full length podcast, you can find that over here, that clips from. If you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here and pin down below in the top comment. You'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line books, and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.